What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce, and today we're going to talk about how to get support for your music in your hometown or city right after the intro. Just like that, we back. I'd like to welcome everybody to another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce, and today we're talking about how to get support for your music in your local hometown or your local city. Don't forget, if you like the content we're putting out on this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and punch that notification bell so you can get all the content that we put out on this channel. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So, how to get support in your local city for your music so this is uh this is kind of going to be geared more towards of course musicians artists that type of thing but some of the techniques that i'm that i'm going to explain you can use them for any type of uh, endeavor you just kind of have to tweak it a little bit but anyway so number one is you can go to your local events and festivals you know and become an active member in your community you want to be a part of don't just go when it's time to ask for a favor, but you want to go and show genuine support. So, for example, um, I do music. I'm a songwriter, so I go to different open mics, even poetry events in my city, not to perform, but just to show up and show genuine support for the event. Um, you know, and I also, you know, I like I make it a habit of, you know, I want to buy a few drinks for whoever's with me. You know, I'm gonna buy drinks for them too. We want to buy food, and that's so we can contribute to the events bar revenue and and the promoter. Hopefully that looks good on the promoter, so they'll want that promoter back because you know they made good from a business standpoint. The bar or venue made made good money or whatever. So pretty much you want to go to these local events, festivals that other people in your city are doing. You go there, show up. You know, bring a few people with you. You know, you want to make the crowd look good, so bring a few people with you. You know, spend some money at the bar, buy some drink, buy some food, or whatever the case may be, and genuinely network with the people that are there. So you know. Not just networking, just having something to sell or having something to give to them. You know, generally network with people as people, you know, that type of thing. So go to local events and your festivals. That's one way how you can get support in your in your local city with music. Another way is, um, this is real important. Stay away from toxic people that view you as a threat because they'll just uh, exercise passive aggressive tactics to hinder your success. So, you know, in this life, um, you're going to be great at something. And in, well, anytime you're great at something, you're going to have haters. So this is inevitable and you must learn how to either maneuver around these losers or cut them out of your circle completely. But you know, toxic people can even be family members, friends, colleagues, other artists, and even studio engineers, you know. So just be aware of the fuckery and keep pushing. You know, um, like that, that reminds me of, um, there's been several engineers, you know, I will used to, I'm not going to call any names, but I would go to these engineers, mix down music, and have to go back, you know, several times to get, you know, something as simple as a, as a level change on, like, a, a vocal and would want to charge these outrageous prices just to fix something that I knew would only take, like, 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, or whatever the case may be. Or you have other artists that you'll get on a song with other artists who's mixing down the song as well, how his verse... A sound much more clear and cl you know clear and concise and meanwhile you know my verse would be faded in the background you can barely hear it like like there was no attention to mixing my verse only that you can clearly tell that attention was put on mixing their verse <laughs> so little small passive aggressive things like that kind of like traits of toxic people i know that's kind of like from my experience but you know there's plenty of other experience and i'm sure in your life as well where you've been around toxic people who weren't you know beneficial to your success and whatever it is you were trying to do. And like I said, that can be a close friend. That can be a family member, you know. So you just have to cut ties with those people or know how to maneuver around those people. So that's number two. You want to stay away from toxic people. So that's number one. Go to your local events and festivals. Number two, stay away from toxic people. All right. So number three, uh, for how to get support for your music in your local city, is contributing to local social media communities. And I'm um, not just posting your videos, your music or artwork and asking them to buy from you, but actually, you know, leave meaningful comments in these groups and contribute to that community. You know, actually read it, you know, leave some thoughtful comments, you know, be respectful in the comment section or whatever. 
And if it's something you really vibe with, then, you know, share that. You know, I'm a, I'm a big supporter of, um, you know, support people that support you. Not saying that you sharing and sharing and leaving meaningful comments is going to help your posts or your or your social media jump through the roof. But it's just that you want to, you know, you, you get back the energy that you put out. So pretty much, you know, if it's if it's a group or something that you feeling or something that, that aligns with what you believe in, then go ahead and contribute to that community in any way you feel like you can, you know, within your means. So that's number three, contribute to local social media communities that are, that are focused around your beliefs. This one is going to be know what community fits your specific art style. So I guess that kind of relates to the last one. So example, if you rap about clothes, holes, AKs, and calicos, you wouldn't be trying to become a member of a women's group that donates socks to senior citizens. So pretty much you want to know your audience and move accordingly. So if you make R&B, then maybe you want to put that in R&B, more R&B focused groups. So just know your product, know your target audience and move accordingly. And so the last tip I give on how to get, you know, more support for your music in your local city is network with other like-minded creatives and collaborate on projects. You know, you can barter services or even bouncing clients off each other so you can establish a network, you know, your own network instead of relying on someone else's network. So, you know, collaborating with other creatives is, is also a great way to give you different perspectives on something that you're currently doing or maybe even... And, you know, in a lot of cases, provide you with a resource or some type of resource or some type of tool that can help you do what you're doing much more efficiently. So collaborate with other like minded creators and collaborate on projects with those creators. So I'm going to go over the list again of how to get support for your music in your hometown. Number one, go to your local events and festivals by other creators in your community and go and support. Number two, you want to stay away from toxic people that view you as a threat. Um, you know, because passive aggressive tactics, you know, they're going to eventually hinder your success. Um, number three, you want to contribute to those local social media communities that you feel like align with your beliefs and your product. Like I was saying earlier, if you make gospel music, then put your gospel music in gospel communities. Four, know what community fits your specific art style. It goes with what I was saying just now. Know your audience, know your target demographic and move accordingly. And number five, network with other like-minded creatives and collaborate on projects so you can establish your own network, your own relationships. And also know this, you know, I know you won't like everybody, everybody won't like you, but at, at the least, you if you want to do close business, close relationships with people, you know, get to know that person. Don't just kind of fuck with people just because of what they can do or what they can do for you. You know, fuck with people because you really fuck with that person as who they are. You know, that won't always, you won't always be able to do that with everyone you run across. But a lot of times the best relationships are built, you know, whether it's a business relationship, a co-work relationship, when there's some type of mutual respect for you as a person, not just from what I can get from, uh, you know, not because I'm only dealing with you because I can get something from you, you know, that type of thing. But that's a whole nother topic for another day. But anyway, I'm going to go over them real quick. <laughs> How to get support for your music in your hometown? Go to your local events in your hometown, local festivals. Stay away from toxic people. Contribute to your local social media communities that align with your beliefs. Know what community fits your specific art style. Network with other like-minded creatives and collaborate. You guys know how I do. I got to give you a book to kind of go along with the topic that can help you along your journey. And this is going to be How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. That's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So if I left out any tip of you guys, ladies and gentlemen, feel like there's another tip that could be beneficial to the community, make sure you leave that in the comment section. If you have anything in particular you would like me to cover on this channel, leave that in the comment section too. I drop videos every week, so subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get all the latest content and take your career to the next level. That wraps it up for another episode of Tony Bruce TV. I'm your host, Tony Bruce. Follow me on Instagram at Tony Bruce TV and on Facebook at Tony Bruce Music. Until next time, remember, make moves, not excuses, and I'm out. Y'all be safe. It's
swimming upstream, screaming. Planted in mama's womb in the form of semen. My spirit is eternal. Too many chemicals and GMOs in my beef. I heard 5G gon' make your soul rim strict for trees. Everybody trying to eat, buy, flip, and repeat. On the Lodo, never let them.